Welcome back. When school starts tomorrow, second grader Joey Stefik is going to be the coolest <laughs> kid in his class because he makes his national TV debut that same night. Yeah, it's on the reality show Ink Master, and it's on tomorrow night. And Joey is here with his parents, Tony and Missy, and his sister Emma. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. All right. Well, so Joey, tell me a little bit about um, what happened on Ink Master. What you didn't get a tattoo, did you? No. Okay. <laughs> so what did they do for you? Uh, oh. Oh, That's so all right. Here, I'll get it, buddy. <laughs> this thing is very precious because they all signed it, right? Okay. He's showing off a little ink, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's cool. All right. Do you want to turn your wheelchair a little sideways while mom and dad tell us a little bit about um, what got to happen on Ink Master? They did these for you guys, right? Yeah, they did. So uh, we went out there, and Ink Master is a tattoo reality show. Mm -hmm. um, and so through Joey's wow. uh, basketball team, which is sponsored by Wisconsin Adaptive Sports Association, yeah. they found out about that, and we sent in a video, and Joey got to go out there, and as one of their challenges, there were six people from uh, around the nation that went out and. The tattoo artist painted custom spoke guards. That's so cool. Talk about this experience for your entire family, getting to, to be in the spotlight and meet all of these celebrities. Well, it was quite the whirlwind. They flew us out on a Monday. They filmed on a Tuesday, and we were back on a Wednesday. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, Emma is under 18, so they went to allow her on the show. So her and I spent the day in Manhattan. So Joey and Tony can tell more about the film yeah. filming. Well, the filming, it was pretty crazy. We, uh, we got in a van and we went to this warehouse in New Jersey. <laughs> and we You're went like, up there. <laughs> and, uh, and they filmed it all in one day two takes, one practice, one, wow. one taped. Yeah. And, uh, and everybody was incredibly nice and helpful. Uh, you know, it was a huge staff, and the stars of the show uh, were also really helpful and really enjoyed getting to know Joey a little bit. Yeah. Do you, um, I, don't I don't know if they'll see this. Do you have a favorite one, Joey? <laughs> Favorite? Do you have a favorite? Uh, what spoke uh, card? The, not really. No. I like, I like both of them. The baseball and the football and the football and the basketball. I'm guessing the basketball and the baseball because you play those sports, right? I, I, I like yes, the he other does. Side. Yes, he does. You like what? The other side. The you like the other sports? side? You like the sports one too, Emma? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. So we want to talk too about the adaptive sports league. Joey, what sports do you play? Um, basketball and baseball. Okay. And that's kind of how this got going, right? Exactly. So this was Joey's first year playing for the Milwaukee Junior Bucks. So um, WASA, or Wisconsin Adaptive Sports Association, sponsors wheelchair basketball levels all the way from Joey's prep team, which is 6 through 14, all the way through what we call Division Three and Division One teams, which are adults. Huh. Um, and the varsity high school team won the national championship this oh, year. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Cool. You're good. in a good program then, right? So tell me a little bit about... Um, Spina bifida. Joey was born with spina bifida. And what do you want people to know about people who have spina bifida? Well, every person who is born with spina bifida, they have a certain lesion level. And they're all different. They all show different uh, characteristics of where the lesion is. But they all are full of personality and love sports Absolutely. and love to play and love to read and love to giggle. And no, even if they maybe are in a wheelchair or have a walker or crutches or maybe not, they just love to play just like any other kid. Joey, are you guys going to have a, a viewing party tomorrow night at your house? <laughs> it's pretty late on a school night. Oh, that's night. true. <laughs> school is back at Sunday. Oh. Well, 9 o'clock at night. That's a little late. You guys going to tape it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll tape it. and Yeah, there's a really neat uh, preview of it on YouTube right now. Um, but we're excited to see exactly how it all comes out. Because it might be one of his wheels that like wins the contest, yeah. right? Yep. It's yep. a contest. That's right. So it's a, con it's a, it's a two-part contest on the episode. And so whichever the judges vote on the spoke guards uh, and whichever spoke guard wins, uh, that tattoo artist gets to be kind of the master of delegating the tattoos oh. uh, for the elimination actual tattooing challenge. So, yeah, we don't know. We, uh, <laughs> uh, we just got the spoke guards uh, at the end of last week. Nice. And we don't know whether Danny, his tattoo artist, won the challenge or not. So, oh. mm -hmm. But we sure hope so, right, buddy? Yeah. That's right. She was a very nice lady. <laughs> she was wonderful. And was really kind and, and took all of Joey's input really well. Nice. And are you excited to go to school tomorrow and show these off to everybody? Yeah. Awesome. Well, have a great... I'll, I'll give this precious thing back to you because it's got all their signatures on it. All right. <laughs> Thank you. So that's going to be on tomorrow night at 9 p.m. It's on the Paramount Network. And again, it's called Ink Master. Congratulations to you all. Thank you. Have a great Thanks school year. Say thanks. <laughs>